A rash in marijuana dispensary break-ins resulting in thousands of products being stolen as a Grand Rapids man facing several years in prison. News 8's Byron Tollefson has a closer look at the case and the growing crimes concerning law enforcement. Byron? Brian and Sue investigators say this man took these stolen products and started selling them. 2,000 vape pens and hundreds of marijuana products seized from a home near Grand Rapids, all allegedly stolen from dispensaries. I think we have seen quite a, a few of these over the last few years, and, and that was something when we talked about you know, legalizing marijuana, we were concerned about as law enforcement, that's quite frankly proved to be the case. 19-year-old Kevin Wynn faces several years in prison after the October search on his home. Wynn allegedly told investigators he knew the marijuana products were stolen from dispensaries because the people who sold them to him were in jail. Detectives also found eight handguns, two of which were stolen. When people can get their hands on illegal firearms and maybe use the proceeds from illegal vapes for, for bad purposes. That creates all kinds of issues for the, the public as well. Also inside Wynn's home, investigators say they found Glock switches. Those, when attached to handguns, can dramatically increase their rate of fire, essentially turning them into automatic weapons. Law enforcement continue to see more Glock switches in West Michigan. Several people were charged last year in a ring from Benton Harbor to Grand Rapids. It makes it very much more violent, and it is something that we're seeing more of out there in terms of when you, you know, these guns and, and, and find these types of things, um, it just leads to a more violent um, neighborhood and community, and we're trying to do everything we can to stop that. The Kent County Prosecutor's Office has seen more dispensary break-ins over the last few years. Organized crime is on the rise since the pandemic, not just with vape store break-ins, but with big groups committing retail fraud and stealing catalytic converters off vehicles. We have seen a lot more conjunction, you know, whether it be gangs or groups or people, it's, you know, they're just doing crimes together more than in the past for some reason. The prosecutor's office does have the power to charge these cases more seriously, including racketeering continuing criminal enterprise, which carries up to 20 years in prison, or organized retail fraud, which can result in five years behind bars. But they have to be in big groups, so it's something that Wynn isn't charged with right now. So one person can do, you know, all kinds of damage in terms of taking items and doing items, but you got to be able to tie them in with uh, other groups. Wynn is due in court tomorrow. He's charged with four separate felonies. The most serious charge carries up to 10 years in prison.